Si Chang is an island of history, culture and beautiful beaches, so there's certainly lots to see and do. A popular and very picturesque stop is at Azadang Bridge. Back in the late 1800s, the island was home to many royal residences. King Rama V granted his personal funds to build the bridge as an act of merit-making. Located at the Maha Wachilawut Peak is the Royal Stone Seat, used by King Chulalongkorn to view the park, sunsets and beautiful scenery. To commemorate the life and works of King Rama V, a summer palace shrine was built in his honour, and many people make offerings to the shrine on a regular basis. A few steps away, you'll find the ruins of King Rama V's palace. The king ordered the buildings to be pulled down and removed to be built elsewhere after the island was filled with troops during the French-Siamese conflict in 1893. The beautiful wooden house by the sea was used as a resort for foreign residents before it was renovated to become the residence of members of the Thai royal family when visiting the island. It's now used as a tourist office and exhibition hall. Around a seven kilometer ride to the other side of the island is the most popular beach, the beautiful Tampang Beach. Here you'll find water activities, beachfront restaurants and accommodation. The beach is relatively quiet most days and the majority of visitors are Thais as it's the closest island to Bangkok. There's no cost to sit on the deck chairs. You can relax on the beautiful white sand beach for free. It makes the perfect place to sit back and unwind whilst taking in the stunning views of the bay after a day of adventures around the island. The last ferry back to Pattaya is at 7pm, so be sure to catch the magnificent views of the sun setting over the hilltops. Ko Si Chang, a little hidden paradise on the outskirts of Pattaya. Coming up next, Pattaya Mail, taking you on a road trip. La Costa by L'Italiano is a stunningly beautiful Italian restaurant offering traditional pizzas, pastas, and authentic Italian cuisine, alongside fresh seafood and the best dishes from Thailand, too. Twelve years in Pattaya, La Casta by L'Italiano promises an outstanding lunch or dinner experience. Find us on Beach Road at the front of the LK Empress Hotel next to Soy 12. Check us out on Facebook, La Costa by L'Italiano, Pattaya's premier Italian restaurant. Today I'm on one of the side soys of soy macau in Pattaya. Um, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. It looks like we're going to have some rain. Fun chuk leo, fun chuk leo. It means the rain's coming. We've had the wind. Long yen, wind. Okay, brings fun chuk leo. Anyway, float myself down in this little roadside cafe. I've been here before. I know it's good. I've ordered myself um, kapow mu, kapow mu, which is a pork with basil and it's spicy with kai dao, kai dao, fried egg. It's with fried egg and it comes with some rice. Now you need the fried egg to bust it open so that all the juices, like the yolk, goes into the rice and it calms it down because it is a bit spicy. So just wait for the food to come now and then I'll show you it when it gets here because it is nice. So remember it if you ever want to order it. It's called kapow mu. 
high down. Okay, see you later. And here it comes. Look at that. There you are. Looks lovely. Aroy or Aloy Mac Mac. Very, very tasty it looks. So I'm going to tuck into this now and let's see what happens. All right, look at that. There, yeah, look. Whoa, eh? Hey. Look at that. Fantastic. Kapow. I do like a mince pork. This is like sliced pork. It's okay. Still got the same taste. Wow. It's hot. You've got all that garlic taste and chilies. And this here is only basil. And it's got a different taste than the English basil. It's got like, a, like an aniseedy type of taste. Red hot. You definitely need the egg yolk to calm it down. Hello, Mama. Good one. Thank you. Mmm. Right, here are then. I need to find how much now. So what you say is kick tang or kick tang thing or check bin. Check bin or gip tang. You're gonna try and sell me some Gip more. Tang. Yes, you know what it means. It means can I have the bill please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Check bin. Can I have the bill? Check, check bin. bin. Thank you, cat. Come on. What's wrong with her? She's either blooded. Are you Mao? No, Mao. Get me the bill then. Unbelievable. 120 baht. That is about £2.30, something like that. That's with a beer. That's good, that, isn't it? By the side of the road. And you always get a lovely lady to say, Cap Cup Cap. Cap Cup Okay, see you later then. In the capital, a bag dumped outside a bank was quickly spotted and saw police going into action closing off streets as disposal teams were called in, found to contain only old clothes. Nevertheless, the operation proved to be an ideal exercise for all involved. The Lawyers' Council of Thailand is reviewing claims that a so-called pro bono lawyer may have taken much of the compensation paid to a young girl crippled in a car wreck that saw her father killed. When her paltry monthly payment dried up, the girl and the family contacted the other party directly, and they claim the other party told them that they'd paid over four times what had been reported by the lawyer. The case continues and the police are investigating. Police and army in a joint raid near the capital nabbed several high-profile drug dealers along with nearly two million pills and a hundred pounds of crystal methamphetamine. The wholesale operation had been under scrutiny for a while as a follow-up to previous arrests and information given. In this case, over a hundred officers took part in the confiscation. When a Japanese visitor here got a call from his credit card company to report 800,000 bahts worth of purchases, he freaked and then reported the card as stolen. The card owner was sitting waiting for a friend at the airport when the purchases were made. Two Chinese men were quickly nabbed. Meanwhile, at home and in Pattaya, Monday night saw police and army raids on several bars and clubs, including at least one in Soy LK Metro. Checks on staff together with ID checks proved to be fine in all but one location, but other charges may be brought as a result of the nighttime operation. Provincial clampdown promises on opening hours seem to have been kept to, as checks on Soy 6 this week saw that bars are closed until 6 for alcohol sales. The usually vibrant and sometimes noisy soy is a ghost time at daytimes and is once again being used as a throughfare for drivers to the beach road, as it's easy to get through during the day. Foreign construction workers in the city are expected to return to work by midweek, 
after the armistice announced by the government gives them and employers four months to get their visas in order. Employers face an easy decision – work with immigration or change workforces. It's that simple. On many sites, staff are already being offered help to become legal again in cases where they'd forgotten to renew outdated visas. 120-day truce is expected to make their lives a lot easier too. The weekend is going to be a dry one. That's not the weather forecast, but the bar forecast. Two days of no alcohol sales, as is tradition on certain high-profile religious holidays. Weekend warriors will be busy drinking tea, but the city still expects to be busy, as many come here not for the booze, but bargains and fun. The Met Office promises a wet July, and that's starting already in much of the country. Our weather forecast is 31 degrees, with the real feel of 40 until the showers begin. And that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Patia, the city of fun. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello from Colm Harrison at the BBC Sports Centre. The former Chelsea and England captain John Terry says he turned down offers to stay in the Premier League because he couldn't face playing against his former club. Terry, who was released by Chelsea at the end of last season after 22 years at Stamford Bridge, has signed a one-year contract with Aston Villa. He says that Villa boss Steve Bruce paid a big part in his move, but also the fact that he wouldn't have to face Chelsea in the Championship. I think very uh, relevant for me. Obviously, not competing against Chelsea was a, was a big factor. And I think once I was kind of over that hurdle, having met with Steve um, and come here and seen the football club and the ambitions as well match mine, you know, for me, it was an easy one. And if I can get us back to the Premier League, you know, that, that's my job done first and foremost. You know, Steve Bruce obviously looked up to him as a player, as a manager as well. I'm looking to come in and learn from him, learn from the players, you know, show me that they want, want me at their football club. And, you know, that meant a lot. Everton have confirmed the signings of defender Michael Keane from Burnley and striker Sandra Ramirez from the Spanish club Malaga. Keane, who's won two caps for England, has signed a five-year contract and joins for a fee that could rise to $39 million, and that would equal Everton's club record. While 21-year-old Sandra has signed a four-year deal at Goodison Park, he says he's joined the ideal club and ideal manager in Ronald Koeman. And staying with Everton, winger Aaron Lennon has begun pre-season training with the club. The former England international was detained under the Mental Health Act by police in May over concerns for his welfare. Finally, West Bromwich Albion have signed the Chinese striker Zhang Yuning from the Dutch club Vitesse Arnhem for an undisclosed fee. 20-year-old Zhang, who's won nine caps for China, has agreed a three-year deal, but he's been immediately sent out on a two-year loan to the German Bundesliga side Werder Bremen. For more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com forward slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Coming up next, fabulous food. The referees can't decide who the winner should be in the big match between Retox versus Retox Game On. Retox in Soy Lenki is the sports bar with more. And more of those specials, like the 98 bat breakfast and daily Brexit specials. Retox Game On in Soy Honey is the brand new sports bar with 50 TVs, including one at your own table, plus the surprise of a new menu and seating for 200 for any match, day or night. The battle continues 24 hours a day. Try Retox and Retox Game On, then you decide.
that made you feel hungry? Our condos are already finished and ready for you to move in. Forget the hassles and the sleepless nights, your dream home is already built, fully furnished and ready to move in straight away at Jomtien Beach Penthouses. We offer a number of very reasonably priced one, two and three bedroom apartments for sale or for long-term rent. Just 80 metres from sandy beaches, Jomtien Beach Penthouses is in one of the most sought-after and safest areas in all of Pattaya. Jomtien Beach Penthouses, your completed home in the sun. Hey guys, Megan here from Fabulous TV Patia. Today I am here at the Havana Bar at the Holiday Inn Patia Hotel and we are here to check out their brand new event, the Farmer's Market. The Holiday Inn Farmer's Market, hosted at the Havana Bar and Terrazzo Restaurant, is certainly a wonderful day out for the whole family. You can enjoy buying, tasting and sharing a large selection of fresh produce, delicious organic fruits and vegetables, beauty and health products, and handmade accessories, arts and crafts. Be sure to bring along your kids, as there's lots of fun children's activities to keep them busy throughout the day. Why not bring along your towel and have a dip in the beautiful swimming pool, or enjoy a nice refreshing drink at the poolside bar. With free entrance, it's certainly a wonderful day out for the whole family. Holiday in Farmer's Market takes place on every second Saturday of the month. Coming up next, Fit and Fabulous, your daily one minute workout. Tonglor Clinic on Tapraya Road guarantees the utmost satisfaction for patients who want to look younger, feel better, and remain healthier. Our qualified doctors specialize in fillers, Botox, laser treatment, and cosmetic surgery, and use only authentic products. At Tonglor Clinic, your initial consultation is free and our prices include free follow-up visits for treatments received. Tonglor is fully licensed and has staff that speak Thai, English, German, and French. Visit our website, tonglorclinic.com, for details. Tonglor, where your youth stays with you forever. Hey everybody, whether you're active or you're not, drinking water and staying hydrated and paying attention to your hydration levels is incredibly important to everybody. 
We've all heard it before, of course, that drinking water is good for your health, but do we actually take it to heart? Think on this for a second. Whether you believe in science or creationism, the fact remains that one of the essentials for life on this planet is water. All life, as we know it, on Earth dies without water. For example, the average human can survive up to a month without food in an emergency situation, but roughly only a week without water. That's how important it is. So with that said, here's an easy tip to ensure you're staying hydrated and getting enough water. You've probably heard eight glasses a day, two liters a day, etc., etc. Let's keep it simple. Everyone is different, so they require different amounts. Just pay attention to your urine. If it's clear like water, you're reasonably hydrated. If it's dark yellow or doesn't smell so good, you're dehydrated. Vitamins might make your pee a little brighter yellow. Always pay note to your hydration levels, especially when you're living in warmer climates like Thailand. Like I said, it's very important to stay hydrated. So with that said, pay attention to how much water you've drank today. Next time you go to the restroom, are you hydrated? You tell me. Go and check right now after watching this show. So until next time, you guys stay healthy, stay happy. Now it's on. Let's have a look at some of the special events and promotions coming up around Pattaya today and this coming week. Every Friday evening, the Avani Patia Resort hold their Earth Hour evening. Sit back and relax while enjoying a moonlight dining experience under the stars at their Sala Rim Nam Thai traditional restaurant. That's out by the Lotus Ponds with a Thai traditional feast. Every single Friday evening between 7 and 10 at the Avani Patia Resort on Patia's Second Road. Every Sunday at the Havana Bar and Terrazzo Restaurant, enjoy a buy one, get one free promotion on all pizzas between 12 midday and 8 o'clock in the evening. And don't forget your dancing shoes, as every Sunday evening is the popular Latin dancing night. Learn some new moves with complimentary dance lessons before the party and enjoy the Latin tunes by a live DJ. The dancing itself starts at 8.30 at the Havana Bar at Holiday Inn. Kickstart your Sunday the right way with a traditional Sunday carvery at Robin's Nest on Soy Diana. There you can choose from over five different meats with all the trimmings, cottage pie, meatballs and dessert. All for just 320 baht per person. That starts at 12 noon and goes on until they run out of food. Keep fit and throw some shapes whilst having fun and raising money for charity at the Zumba Summer Dance Party. That's coming up on Saturday, the 16th of July, at the Regents International School, Patia. Hosted by a Zumba master, the masterclass will be taking place between 3 and 4.30 in the afternoon, and all proceeds from the event will be donated to the Women with a Mission Foundation. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and you can fill your boots at the Robin Hood Tavern Breakfast Buffet. Monday to Friday from 8.30 until 11.30 in the morning, traditional English and American breakfast, free flow orange juice, tea and coffee. And that's all you can eat for just 270 baht per person. If you're looking for the least expensive lunch in the city, why not check out the Mediterranean Garden Resort at Lake Maprachan? With pizzas from only 99 baht, Thai food from 79 baht and puddings starting at 19 baht. They're available every day from 12 noon until 3 o'clock. And the Mediterranean Garden Resort is in the village of Pong. Every evening, sit back and relax while watching the sun set over Patia Bay. With 360 degree panoramic views, enjoy a buy one, get one free promotion on all drinks between 6 and 8 at the rooftop terrace on the 25th floor of the Executive Tower at the Holiday Inn Patia Hotel. 
Why not watch Fabulous TV Patio on your phone or laptop or tablet? It's a daily show with news, updates, and things to do right here in the city of fun. Visit tvpatio.com. Got cable TV? TMN? Check us out on the Cinema One channel. Five primetime slots a day, every day. Fabulous TV Patio. So good, you might want to watch it. Today's fabulous TV Patia is available for repeat and rewind at tvpatia.com.